So I'm back at home and uh, as you've just seen my tripod uh, bit the dust in the uneven ground that we've got down there at the lake and the little phone holder that attaches on the top of there um, bit the dust and uh, has snapped and the, the spare one which I've got which you're watching me on now um, was at home typically so um, I've just popped back to put a bit of super glue and hopefully we'll get this back up and running and we'll get back out there. Hello and uh, welcome to part two. Excuse the interruption to our normal programming, but the mobile phone holder for my tripod has now got super glued and hopefully we'll be fine for this little outing this afternoon. So I'm just heading across a very squidgy, squelchy, muddy field. Um, just come away from the lake a little bit now where I was filming and taking pictures of the grey lag geese which have arrived very nice very noisy Canada geese often there and black-headed gulls moorhens normal ducks mallards etc very picturesque little part of the world so I'm now walking down to the river which is just along here and I think walking across this muddy field wasn't the best idea I've had. I'm going to have a look see if we can get some shots of herons because there's often herons fishing along there and anything else that I can maybe find. Uh, just trying to look for a little gap in the fence that I can get down. Just walking down to the river and uh, set up the camera and give you some nice b-roll of where I am. So I might have to change my plans slightly. Just as I'm walking along the river here, I can see up ahead um, a bunch of council guys or parks trust as it's called around here. They do all the woodland management and uh, tree surgery and that kind of thing. So I might continue along the path, I think, and walk past them. I think they're about to start their chainsaws and lob down a couple of trees which isn't going to sound too good on the audio so I think I'll just keep walking past a bit further down the river there aren't any herons or any wildlife here at the moment where I am so I think I'll keep going Managed to find some wildlife with a couple of moorhens, but the minute they see me, they dash into the bracken and the bushes and the reeds across the other side of the river there. 
so I might have to be a little bit more stealthy. Right, so I've come about half a mile, three quarters of a mile down the river, and I've seen two more hens that dashed off. So I'm going to have a little wander back the direction I came, back towards the lake, and I think we'll go and have a look, another look at those grey lag geese that have come in. Oh, by the way, I've got the Rode VideoMic ME attached to the phone at the moment, with the windshield on it. It's a little bit of a breeze today. It's, uh, yeah, it's not bad. Well, hopefully you're not getting any wind noise uh, through the audio. Result. Just as a bit of historical interest for the area, um, this little stretch of river here that we've walked along, um, back in Roman times, there was, just back in, down in Bradwell down there, there was a Roman villa, which the remains you can still see. And somewhere along this river stretch in the 1970s, they found uh, a massive load of Roman artefacts, uh, pots, coins, all kinds of different things, which are in the local museum. Hopefully managed to salvage something there. Uh, some very nice trees uh, in the distance there. And so while I was trying to film that piece, uh, the little thing broke again. So <laughs> never mind. Two quid on eBay, I reckon. Get me a new one. So I've got the spare one on. Um, I'm going to carry on around the lake, around the other side, back to where the grey lag geese were from the earlier this morning. And um, we'll see what else we can find. Right, I've just spotted two herons. They're going to disappear as soon as they see me. Thanks very much for watching. I think I'll wind the video up here. Uh, it's going grey. The grey lags have gone. 
there's not even a moor hen to be seen. So I'll see you on the next one. And don't forget to like and subscribe.